go on. Now we're going One of the challenges I found uh, as practicing as a, as a pain management physician has been misdiagnoses and underdiagnoses as well as late diagnoses. So we have patients who may have had a chronic pain condition for a while or patients who may have had a surgery or patients who have had an acute pain problem that wasn't intervened in time, wasn't managed correctly, and then it became a chronic pain condition and now it's sort of you know, locked in and it becomes much harder to treat. Now we can see that with examples of back pain, uh, examples of neck pain, headaches, migraines, you know, other nerve problems. But it's especially true and especially important in cases of central sensitization. Now central sensitization is a condition where the central nervous system has become hyperinflamed or hyperactive. We call it hyperalgesia. Uh, one of those conditions under central sensitization is CRPS. So with patients who have CRPS, if they're not diagnosed correctly or they're not diagnosed early, the problem becomes even more dramatic. It becomes even more cemented in. There's a sense of permanency, both psychologically as well as physically, when patients are not diagnosed early enough. So early diagnosis is important. Now that doesn't mean that if you've been diagnosed and, uh, or if you've had CRPS for years, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that there's no hope. That doesn't mean that we can't put this in remission. It just means that it might become a little harder. So that's why as a patient, as a physician, you know, early diagnosis is important. I guess that brings us up to the next question. Okay, how do you diagnose someone with CRPS? You know, if you have a heart problem, we can do an EKG. If you have diabetes, we can do some blood tests, right? Even cancer, I mean, there are tests that we can do to identify if you have cancer, if you have high blood pressure, if you have diabetes, or a lot of these common problems. Well, unfortunately, there's really no blood test for any type of chronic pain, and there's no blood test for CRPS. Of course, we can do blood tests, and they can say, oh, I see some inflammation. There are some factors that we can test for to see that. But that's not specific, and it's not really accurate. And of course, you're going to have some inflammatory agents that are going to be positive in certain disease states. I mean, that's why you're going to the, to the physician. That's why the patients are coming to us. They're not feeling well. So getting a blood test that says either nothing or says something to kind of prove that is kind of irrelevant.